The following program is rated PG. The following program deals with mature subject matter and contains scenes of sexuality. Viewer discretion is advised. Yesterday on Passions, American Princess Sheridan Crane was being hunted. Damn paparazzis. Let's go. Just like her dear friend Diana. While back in Harmony, the carnival was about to begin. This is all part of your plan for me to meet the locals. And I'm sure that you will know everybody by the time I get back. Here goes nothing. Ethan Crane asked you to marry him. Not yet, but he will. Besides the fact that you've never even met him, he's in love with that debutante Gwen Hotchkiss. He's going to marry me. You say anything about what you just heard. I mean about you having the hots for Miguel. Sorry, big sister. Please, come to me. I know you have no memory of the first 20 years of your life, but is it possible that this little girl is some part of your past? I've been expecting you. I'm ready for battle. You will not wear souls of mine. Where is that little mutant? Hey, what are you gonna do to Jess? I'm thinking of torturing her first, very slowly. Then I'll kill her. You two sisters fight more than any two sisters I know. Well, how would you feel if Whitney made up a poster with the words Simone loves Miguel in big bright letters on it? I'm not the one with the hearts for Miguel, you are. And the last thing I want is for him to find out. You want him to find out sometime. Yes, but when I decide to make my move, not because Jessica broadcasted all over the carnival, it's a good thing I caught Jessica with that poster and ripped it before Miguel saw it. I would have died of humiliation. There she is. You brat! Let go! You tell anyone I like Miguel, I swear. Why don't you tell him? He's right behind you. Liar. Hi, Miguel. Hi, Jessica. There is something bothering Grace, isn't there? There's something I should tell you, Sam. Hey, sweetheart! Hi! Hey. So, where's Whitney? Well, our daughter and Teresa have decided to volunteer for painting. I'm sure it was with a little gentle persuasion from you, TC. Well, that's why they put me in charge of carnival volunteers. Oh, you know, that reminds me I have to go get some poster board from the school. I'll go with you. No, well, I can get it. What was it you're going to tell me, Eve? Well, I don't want you to get upset, Sam. Well, just tell me what it is. Well, something happened after you left this morning. Grace thought she saw a little girl in the kitchen window. No one was there. What? Well, she said she was tired and she thought her mind was playing tricks on her, but... W did she recognize a little girl? Well, she said no. Well, maybe Grace's memory's coming back to her. Uh, I don't know. It would be a miracle if it did. When I rescued her 20 years ago from that fire, she didn't know anything about herself or her family. And she's never remembered anything since? No. She said it didn't matter. Sometimes I wonder... If she's afraid, those missing years will come back to haunt her. You're wasting your time mooning over spoiled and selfish rich people like the Cranes. Mama says he's... they're nice, Louise. Oh, well, then why don't they pay her a decent salary for all the work that she does as their housekeeper? Which reminds me, I gotta talk to you about a job I got for you this summer. What summer job? Oh, now's not the time. Well, we'll talk later. You're so lucky not to have a brother, Whitney. They think they can rule your life. I wonder what kind of summer job Louise got you. Knowing Louise, it's probably awful. Well, speaking of awful jobs, we better get painting. I can't ruin this outfit. It's the one I'm planning to wear when I first meet Ethan and sweep him off his feet. Oh, right. <laughs> I'll get us some smocks, okay? Okay. One day I'll meet you, Ethan Crane. I just hope it's soon. Hey! Sheridan Crane is traveling west, high speed in the BMW down Quai d'Anjou. Tail her. Let's go.
Sheridan. Open up, it's Ethan. I got the first flight to Paris as soon as I heard. I just can't believe it. I can't believe that Diana's dead. I'm so sorry. I called the minute I heard I kept getting a busy signal. I took the phone off the hook. Reporters kept calling. They did it. They drove her to her death. She had no <laughs> People are making a memorial to her near the tunnel. Flowers, handwritten messages. We should go there. No. It'll help. No. I can't go near that tunnel. It was bad luck for Diane. It'll be bad luck for me. You don't believe that? Yes, I do. Our lives were so similar. She was unlucky in love. What if I... Sheridan, you can't think like that. It'll paralyze you. I don't care. Sheridan, this isn't like you. My Aunt Sheridan always told me not to run away from my fears, but to face them head on. That's what you have to do now. We have to go to that memorial. No. I can't. If I go anywhere near that tunnel, I'll die. Hi, Simone. Okay. I'm so glad you're here, Miguel. What's going on? Do you have something you want to tell me? I forgot, but I'm sure it'll come back to me. Well, I have to go set up the tables at the food stand. Can I help? Sure. You're welcome to help, too. My father's got us working on something else. Okay. Let's go. Why did you do that? Do what? Say we already had work to do. Because we do. I could have been with Miguel. Watching that gorgeous face, that incredible body, making sure that big mouth little sister of mine doesn't say anything. I swear, if she tells him, death will be too good for her. Grace's past could be affecting her on a subconscious level. But why now? What if that little girl she imagined is someone from the past? Oh, I don't know, Sam. This could all be the result of overwork. Try and get her to slow down. I'm worried about her. You should be worried about your wife, Sam. Very worried. Again. Diana, 
get two of those, Miguel? Hey, Whitney. Go. Sure. You thirsty? One's for Teresa. Maybe it'll cool her down. What's she upset about? Oh, having to paint in her new dress. <sighs> Only my sister would get dressed up to work on the carnival. Mm. What boy is she trying to impress? You will not believe it. Ethan Crane. <laughs> Ethan Crane. The Ethan Crane? There is only one Ethan Crane I know of who is heir to the Crane billions. She never told me she met him. She hasn't, but she is positive she's going to. Uh, yeah, over my dead body. It's, it's only one of our sister's harmless fantasies, Louise. And that's all it's ever going to be, a fantasy. A fantasy. You see, there's no way that Teresa's ever going to meet Ethan Crane. Oh my, did I do that? There's no one else around. I didn't see the ladder behind me. Why don't you watch where you're going? I said I was sorry. No, you didn't. Give me a rag or something. Get it yourself. Hey! Sweetheart, I got us some coffee. Oh, thanks, honey. Sam, coffee? No, thanks. You're still worried about Grace, aren't you? There's something going on with my wife. I just wish I knew what it was. Grace! Grace! Little girl. No, Grace. She's not real. She can't be real. Grace! Why are you haunting me? What do you want from me? Oh, mon Dieu, c'est pas vrai. Not again. Is she alive? I can't tell. And I don't think we should move her. My God. This is just what like happened to our friend, Princess Diana. We have to do something. The Crane family may be thousands of miles away in America, but they have incredible power. If she dies, they'll blame us. What are you doing? The tabloids will pay a fortune for pictures of this. Don't make things worse, please. Remember Diana, don't make things worse. Where's Teresa, anyway? I gotta talk to her about that job at the Burger Hut. Can't it wait, Louise? She's working on the carnival. It's time she got a dose of reality. She's gonna take that job whether she likes it or not. Lighten up, Louise. What happened? You were in a good mood when you dropped me off at the beach earlier. I guess you didn't hear me, officer. I'm Ethan Crane. Yeah, I heard you. And what's your name? Gwen Hotchkiss. Okay, well, why don't you get your clothes on because you're under arrest, too. What? You can't arrest us. <laughs> You saw the sign. It's illegal to light a fire at Doom Point. So I'll put it out. Try to get the handcuffs. Ethan, just... I'll take care of this, Gwen. Obviously, you're new in town, officer. I've lived in harmony all my life. Well, then you know my family, the Cranes. I know who you are. And despite what you think, the Cranes are not above the law. I didn't say we... Look, get dressed. I'm taking you both in. I almost arrested Ethan Crane. What? You're kidding. No, and I would have too if our chief of police, Sam Bennett, hadn't ordered me not to. What did Ethan do? Well, I found him and his debutante girlfriend having a party at Dune Point, naked under a blanket. And that's why you were gonna arrest him? No, they had a fire on the beach. That's illegal at Dune Point. So why didn't you just give him a fine? Because I didn't like his attitude. He and the rest of the damn cranes think they own this town. Well, they don't own the beach or the ocean. I'll bet they do. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe you actually met Ethan Crane. Oh, Teresa will not believe it when I tell her. What's Teresa's interest in him anyway? Well, you know Teresa. I mean, she's interested in everybody in those society magazines she reads. And that's the only place she's ever going to see him. Cranes don't mingle with peasants like us. You can't just walk off after you dump a whole can of paint on my head. It was an accident. The least you can do is get me something to wipe it off with. Fine. What you've done! What I've done? My new sweater! I'm sorry! 
gosh, I don't believe this. You idiot! Hey, a lady, what about me? I should have you arrested. What? You know, you should call a cop. They can take you back to the loony bin you obviously escaped from. Daddy, what do you want us to do now? Well, let me see what you can do now. Well, I could use some help finishing setting up my stand. There you go. All right, I'll be over in a little while. OK, uh, where's Jessica? Oh, that's what I'd like to know. Well, I want you to keep an eye on her. I have to go to work, and your mother, your mother has things on her mind. Well, don't worry. I'll keep an eye on her, all right. My hands over her big mouth. <sighs> Ironic, isn't it? I'm Harmony's new police chief, hired to protect and serve. I can't even protect my own wife. That's not true, Sam. You're a wonderful husband to Grace. Then why won't she open up to me? I mean, tell me what's bothering her. She probably doesn't know herself at this point, Sam. You're a doctor, Eve. I mean, you were with her when she imagined seeing that little girl in the window. I mean, what does that mean? It probably means that she's just overtired. But I will convince her to come in and take some tests. Thanks. She's been at that school for a while. I'm gonna go see what's keeping her. All right, see you guys later. your voice so many times through the years but you never appeared to me before until today at my home why are you appearing to me now you said you wouldn't do that until it was time that I should be prepared and where are you now is it time? Time for what? Am I... Am I going to die? Don't you think you're being a little hard on Ethan Crane? His family has made money off the poor this town for generations. They've provided a lot of jobs in Harmony. Why are you defending the Cranes? I'm not. It's just Ethan seemed OK when I met him. You met Ethan Crane when? At the Crane Mansion. It was a few years ago. Mama took me there on her day off to pick up her paycheck. <laughs> what little they pay her. That's right. Your mother's worked for the Cranes for a long time, hasn't she? She's their housekeeper. Big title for a lot of work and no real money. So what was Ethan like? He seemed like a regular guy. You know, it's funny. I'm surprised their family let you associate with the little prince. No telling what diseases the lower classes might carry. In fact, I remember feeling sorry for him, all alone in that big house. Oh, all alone with those servants to wait on him hand and foot. It's not the same as family. He hasn't spent much time in Harmony, has he? No. He was away at boarding schools when he was a kid. See, public school was beneath him. What do you have against him anyway? Well, let's just say when something goes wrong in Harmony, there's usually a crane behind it. This is all your fault! My fault? Who knocked over the can of paint on my head? You shouldn't have been standing there. I shouldn't have... Oh, wow. What you did to my sweater, and it cost a fortune. Your sweater? Excuse me? The sweater was special. I wanted to wear it to impress a guy. Now it's ruined. Lady, you don't need a sweater to impress a guy. You need your sanity. You are so rude. Oh, I'm rude. This is surreal. I, mean, I look like I got hit by a paint truck because of you, and all you care about is a little spot on your stupid little sweater. Just go away, or I'll have you arrested. How can I be arrested for something you did? And I strike that. From what I see, the cops in this town are as crazy as you are. I said go away. With pleasure. Who 
was that guy? Just some idiot who got pain all over my new sweater. Oh, no. You'll never get that out. Don't say that. This was the sweater I was going to wear when I met Ethan Crane. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. Guess who your brother Louis almost arrested today? I don't care. Oh, yes, you will. Ethan Crane. Get me wet rag or... What did you say? Your brother almost arrested Ethan Crane today. No way. <sighs> Lunatic. Ethan Crane. Ethan, it's Gwen. I'm calling from the Concord. Gwen. I just wanted to see how you're making out with meeting the locals. Did you get a wild welcome like I said you would? Well, let's just say, I hope Sheridan doesn't give you the same kind of welcome when you arrive in Paris. You know this woman? She's Sheridan Crane. Sheridan Crane of the Crane family? Yes. Wasn't she a friend of Princess Diana? Yes. <laughs> Bizarre that she would have an accident in the same place that Diana did. Yeah, only this time it is an American princess. Oh, oh. The blood pressure is dropping. We have to get her to the hospital right now. It isn't funny, Gwen. Okay, it is funny in hindsight. <laughs> oh, my poor crown prince. You finally come out of your castle to mingle with your subjects, and instead of a laurel wreath, you get a can of paint on your head. This is your fault, you know. You're the one who insisted I go out and meet the locals. Well, I had very good reasons. You've spent most of your life away from Harmony, but now you're back. You're working for your family. It's time you got out. Explore the town. I mean, Ethan, the Cranes have been in Harmony for over 300 years. That town's part of your heritage. A regular dynasty, all right. And you are the heir apparent, who will one day have little heirs, hopefully with me. Oh, can't hear you. The connection's bad. You heard me. I do love you, Gwen. I know. And if I push family life, Ethan, it's only because I know yours was so unstable growing up. It can be good. Ethan, if you just get out there and meet normal families, maybe you'll see that. If this girl is an example of normal family life, then I'm going to stay single forever. Say, do you think she'd dump that can of paint on my head on purpose? Oh, now why would she do that? Because I'm a crane. I mean, you said yourself, the cranes have done things some people in town don't like. Well, did she act like she knew you? No. Well, then I'm sure it was an accident. <clears throat> He told me you arrested Ethan Crane. Almost arrested him. Well, what was he like? Was he nice? What did well, he say? Slow down. What's the interest in Ethan Crane? Oh, I, um, I just wanted to hear what happened. That's all. Oh, speak of the devil. There he goes now. Who? Ethan Crane. Ethan Crane was here. Oh, no. I can't believe I missed him. Sweetheart? You're still worried about Grace, aren't you? I just wish I knew what was wrong with her. I know what's wrong with her, and it's spelled T-R-O-U-B-L-E. Damn it! She's back! No! Grace! Grace, it's okay. It's, it's me, it's Sam. Sam? Hey, what's, what's wrong? Why are you so upset? I, I came to get some art supplies, and when I was leaving, suddenly all the lights went off, and then I tried to get away, and the doors were locked, and then I, I heard a voice calling my name. Someone was calling your name? Yes. Sam, what's going on? I don't know, but I want to go check it out. No, let's just get out of here. Grace, there is nothing to be afraid of. Someone's here. And if they are, and they're playing tricks on you, they're going to regret it. I'll be right back. Sam, be careful.
It's Sheridan Crane. She seems like wealthy American family billionaires are here. I read somewhere she was a very close friend of Princess Diana. A strange Princess Diana's accident happens in the same tunnel. And she died in this hospital. But if... Don't even think it. Miss Crane, can you hear me? You have to fight to live. Fight! Sheridan. Sheridan. I can't believe you're going to arrest Ethan Crane. Why? He's above the law. All he did was make a fire on the beach. Yeah, well, I didn't like his attitude. And anyway, building a fire on the dune is against the law. Oh, like when you were in high school, you didn't build fires out there for you and your girlfriends? Uh, Ethan Crane's not in high school. Was Ethan with someone? What do you say, a little one-on-one, -on -one, bro? Great, if you're in a losing mood. Yeah, dream on. <laughs> Luis, was Ethan with someone? Yeah, some blonde. Was her name Gwen Hotchkiss? Sounds familiar. You ready, bro? The question is, are you ready? Did you hear that, Whitney? I heard. I just know she's gonna trap him into marrying her. Why do you care who Ethan marries? Why do you care about any of those cranes? I think they're glamorous. They're bloodsuckers, taking advantage of everyone. That's not true. Look at this. The cranes at a charity ball. And this, a charity fundraiser for the hospital. They give away lots of money. Teresa, why do you waste your time obsessing over people who you don't even know, who you're never gonna know? I could. Oh, no. Because as of tomorrow, you're not going to have time to meet anyone. Except maybe customers at the Burger Hut. What? I got you a summer job at the Burger Hut. You're starting tomorrow, morning shift. <laughs> me work at the Burger Hut? Don't make me laugh. Teresa, you need to save money for college. I'll find a job myself. And what kind of job would that be? Because last time I checked, they're not hiring princesses in Harmony. At least that I know of. I'm not going to work at the Burger Hut. My hair will reek of grease. That's what shampoo is for. Be there tomorrow, 8 o'clock sharp. Come on, let's go, Miguel. Where are you, Ethan? Take me away from all of this. Hi, Galar. Ethan, what in the world happened to you? I was walking around the carnival and some crazy girl dumped a gallon of paint on me. On purpose? No, I'm pretty sure it was an accident. I'll get a wet towel. No, Galar, you don't have to do that. Who was she, Ethan? Was she a local girl? I don't know. Of course, I don't know any of the local girls, but if they're as nutty as she is, I don't want to know them. Ethan, don't judge a town by one bad example. Most people here are very kind. I know you are, Bilal. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. Crane residence. One moment, please. Ethan, it's a doctor calling from Paris. He says it's urgent. Hello, this is Ethan Crane. Yes, I'm a relative of Sheridan Crane? Um, she's my aunt. What? How is she? All right. I want you to call me back as soon as you know about her condition. I want her to have the very best care, whatever it is. Sheridan's been in a car accident in Paris. Oh, my God. Will she be all right? She's unconscious. I don't know the full extent of her injuries until they finish examining her. Where's my father? He and your mother went out. Your father's going to be so upset when he learns about his sister. I'd rather not tell him anything until I know more details about Sheridan's condition. Gwen should have landed in Paris by now. I'll call her hotel and leave a message to get her to the hospital. You love your aunt very much, I know. 
She's always been more of a big sister than an aunt to me. I will pray for her. Thank you, Pilar. Now, you get out of those clothes so I can get those stains out. Look at these, Pilar. It's useless. They're ruined. Pilar will save them. You'll see. No, it's late. Your family will be expecting you. Oh, my family can manage without me. I doubt that. I know I can't. Go. Go, Ethan. Sheridan, the car's waiting. I know, Ethan. Well, it's just the service will be starting soon. This hat is all wrong. It's fine. A veil. That's what I should wear. A veil would be more appropriate. The hat is fine, Sheridan. I think I packed one before we left Paris. Yes, I'm sure I did. Sheridan. I'm just going to go check in my room. We don't have time. Do you hear me, Ethan? I want to wear a veil. I am going to the funeral today of one of my dearest friends, and I just want everything to be right. Do you understand? Yes, I was... I just want to show her respect. I just want to honor her. I want Diana to be alive. No. It's not fair, Ethan. It's just not fair. I know. Look, are you sure you're up for attending Diana's funeral? I'm going, Ethan. I have to be there. I have to say goodbye. I owe that to her. You also owe it to her to go on with your own life, Sheridan. She'd want that. Will you? Sheridan, you told me before we left Paris how similar you and Diana were. How you both had a lonely childhood. How you both wanted to find love, real love, so desperately. How you both had your hearts broken by love and she was taken away just when she found real love and real happiness. That you were afraid the same thing would happen to you too. You must think I'm so foolish. No, we all want to find love. It's normal. But you can't compare your life to Diana's. You can't let this superstition that you're going to die soon like she did keep you from living. You have to go on with your life. You have your own destiny. And I truly believe that that destiny includes love, real love. I want to believe that. You have to stop thinking this way. You have to stop thinking that what happened to Diana is going to happen to you. I know. I'll help any way I can. Why do you put up with me? Because I love you. Because I want the very best for you. Because I want you to be happy. Everything is going to turn out just fine, Sheridan, you'll see. In there, Sheridan. I can't lose you. It's me, Sheridan. Diana. Sam and Grace have been gone for a while. I hope she's okay. TC, you and Sam have been friends for a long time. Has he ever confided in you anything about Grace's past? Only what you know. 
is that he rescued Grace from a fire in Boston. They eventually got married and moved back here to Harmony. But has he said anything about whether she remembers? No. All I know is that Grace still has no memory whatsoever from the fire. That's got to be strange to forget the first 20 years of your life. Yes. Do you think that's what's happening now? That Grace is starting to remember? I don't know. But Sam is concerned that maybe something from Grace's past is starting to haunt her now. Sam, you're all right. Of course. It was just a balloon fuse. Oh, thank God. Grace, what's going on here? You just said it was a blown fuse. No, it's more than that. It was white as a sheet. Well, I got scared when the doors shut and I couldn't open them. Are they open now? I don't understand. Who were you talking to when I came in? I... I don't know. I, I heard a voice. Oh, it must have been me calling you. No, it wasn't you. Maybe... What? Was it the little girl again? How did you know? <laughs> Eve told me. Sam, I heard voices. It's not my imagination. Wow, I checked the building and it's empty. Whoever it was is gone now. I'm not crazy. I heard a voice. I believe you. Now, come on, let's get out of here. I'll be back for you, Grace.